Good morning, Japan. Good morning, the world. This is Alan Gibson, unscripted and unshaven and very tired. It's been a long week. European Championships, J League, games against Australia, Oman, Jordan. Okay, so technically two weeks, but you know, you know what I'm saying. It's, it's been a long two weeks and uh, I've got square eyes and little footballs moving around in front of my eyes. But I digress. Alan Gibson of J Soccer Magazine welcoming you to an Eddie Vidcast or Vodcast or Podcast. You tell me what you think they should be called. And uh, we'll have a look at the uh, J1 from the last weekend, shall we? Nine games, six away wins in J1 this weekend. Three home wins, no draws. The top team, Begal to Sendai, took on the bottom team, Consadole Sapporo, and nothing changed. Begalta 4, Consadole 1. Begalta, the bubble's not quite bursting yet. Sapporo, the bubble, has not been inflated yet. Sapporo going back to J2. Say no more. Kashima Atlas 2, Nagoya Grampus 3. Luckily for Nagoya Grampus, Tamara was injured and Nagai got the start. And Nagai scored two exquisite goals and a pinpoint pass to Kanazaki created the other goal too. So Nagai basically won the game for Nagoya and booked his place to London 2012 Olympics. Keisuke Nagai, you are a superstar. Omiya Adija 2, Kashima Reiso 4. A new manager for Omi Adija, a new formation, 4-4-2 with Cho up front instead of on the left wing, but no points. Null point. Zero. Not a sausage. Bugger all. Yep, Casio Reysol scored four. Omi Adija pulled one back and, to be honest, had the chances to get a draw or a win in the last 30 minutes or so, but they didn't take them, and it's goals that count. You're going to hear that again sometime. She needs a best pulse, riding high, should really have cemented the top spot by now. Albirex Niigata 1, Shimizu S pulse 0. Afshin Gopi and boys must be pulling out their hair. Albirex Niigata took the lead just uh, before the half time from Seiya Fujita, pretty much the only time they got anywhere near the goal, and there was 1 0 up. Second half, both of the Niigata's Brazilians were yellow carded for diving, but I digress. S pulse, you gotta win these games. Talking of S Pulse, how would you like my classic S Pulse shirt from the 90s there? Isn't it lovely? Isn't it? Uh, but I digress, I'm sorry. Uh, S Pulse's neighbours, well, they didn't do so well either, so that'll, you know, a little silver lining there. Jubilo Iwata thrashed 3 1 at home by Vissel Kobe. Keijiro Ogawa, the 19 year old hat trick hero. Is that the uh, youngest hat trick in the J League? I should check for you. Or if you know, please write it down at the bottom there. Comment and tell me. Keijiro Ogawa. Superb hat trick and Vissel Kobe, their first win for Akira Nishino, their new coach, ex gamber, of course. Cereza Osaka saying goodbye to Kiyotake very soon, so the fans are pouring in and the rain was pouring down. It was a disgraceful display of weather. Uh, Cereza Osaka, well, they weren't too hot either. Cereza Osaka 1, San Fetcher Hiroshima 4, and Hisashi Sato, J League top scorer hit the bar from a penalty and had a goal disallowed from offside. So that's all. They win things, they lose things, they're inconsistent. They even given Consadole Sapporo their only win this year, would you believe? So they're going to miss Kiyotake and uh, if my sources are correct, they're going to miss Kim Bo Kyung too. Kim Bo Kyung is off to a unnamed team who used to wear blue and now are wearing red in England. I can't really say more, but you can work it out. And uh, if I get more confirmation news on that or any other news, I'll let you know on www.jsoccer.com or on various sources. So, uh, so they're not going down, but they're not going to win anything. Gamba Osaka 1, Urawa Reds 2. Just like a couple of weeks ago when Gamba lost 3-2 to Sagan Tosu with the last kick of the game after being 2-0 up, Gamba were all over Urawa Reds. Chances galore! Out shooting them about 16 to 7, officially, according to the Sky Sports, but uh, who knows what that was. I, I think it was more like about 35 shots by Gamba. And, uh, well, they scored a lovely goal by Sato. They hit the post. Paulinho was everywhere. And they lost in the, pretty much the last kick of the game. Reds were very happy with that one. Gamba Osaka won, Urawa Reds too. And if Gamba don't win these kind of games, Gamba are joining Contador Sapporo in J2 next year. Yeah, book your tickets for Zweigen, Kanazawa and all those places, Gamba fans. <sighs> oh, dearie me. Anyway, Sagantosu 
unbeaten at home all season. Not anymore. Sagato Sunil, Kawasaki Frontale won. Lost their unbeaten home record to a single goal on a header from Tasaka with about 10 minutes to play. Tosu had the chances, but the game went to Frontale. It's goals that count. Haven't we said that before somewhere? Uh, Yokohama FC, oh, oh, excuse me. Yokohama F Marinos won FC Tokyo nil. Apparently, according to FC Tokyo fans, they were dire. Which is a pretty much of a shame because Yokohama F Marinos weren't that much better. Uh, the only goal came from uh, Frodo, uh, sorry, Hyodo, looks a bit like Frodo though, uh, who did enough to take a pass, pull it, turn and shoot. Uh, on the other hand, Yuji Ono also had a great flick into the net ruled out for offside and it was proved wrongly by the TV replays, although they didn't say anything about it, of course, you know. Uh, Shunsuke Nakamura free kick, also saved wonderfully by Gonda. So, um, you know, Yokohama Reno's won, FC Tokyo nil. It's, oh, that was J1. June the 16th, 2012. So, talking of Cerezo Osaka and Kyotake, let me give you a quick rundown on J Soccer Magazine issue 4, which is out two days ago. Well, as I record this anyway. We have, well, let's start at the front and we'll look at Kyotake on the covers. Auf Wiedersehen, he's on his way to Nuremberg after the Olympic Games. Cerezo will miss him. And they missed Inui, and Kagawa, and Ienaga. Wow, what is Cerezo Osaka a nursery team for Europe or what? Who knows? And inside we have a lovely Nadesco Japan pull-out poster of Kawasumi, Kawaii Sumi. Uh, what else do we have here? Well, we have a little picture of me saying goodbye to Kiyotake, but that's beside the point. Shinji Kagawa saying goodbye to Dortmund. There's a nice one, a picture of Shinji Kagawa, and uh, some phrases that Shinji should be learning, like uh, it's a game of two halves. I'm as sick as a parrot. I'll work my socks off for the team. I'm over the moon, Brian. Shinji Kagawa should get to know. Well, what else have we got going on in Japan? Well, no, in the Premier League, it's Miyaichi Ryo. A little rundown on uh, the uh, reaction to Miyaichi's games last year by Joe Broadfoot of the Loose Cannon. Co. Uk. Joe Broadfoot of the Loose Cannon, thank you. S. Pulse, get a little, few little lovely posters. Kelvin Youngerpin of Holland. And Takagi there. Kawaii Takagi. He's a good, good looking boy there, Takagi. Uh, S-Pulse will be featured heavily in issue 5 with uh, exclusive interviews with Mr. Gopbi and lots of lovely pictures. Uh, well, this is very uh, Sho Fujihara, Gamba Osaka in crisis. Nothing has changed since this was written. They're on, uh, well, Mr. Matsunami has got a lot to do there. He's uh, thinking about what he's going to do with Endo this year. Matsunami, Gamba in crisis, we shall see. A guide to www.jsoccer.com. Please use it. Get there. And, um, well, after Ibusuki of uh, Sevilla, who we interviewed way back in, uh, well, last issue, uh, we have Idetoshi Wakui, interviewed by Paul Williams of Asian Football Feast. Wakui-san is in Estonia and uh, is uh, hardly known in Japan, but he's not a bad player. You should take a look at it. And then Barry Valder introduces us to watching football in Japan. A four-page article on the stadiums of Japan, and uh, well, I'm sorry I can't move the camera, but his book is over there on the shelf. Barry Valda, watching football in Japan. So uh, it's, a, it's not a bad magazine. You really should buy it. Some exclusive pictures from the Kirin Cup of Japan, uh, including uh, Kashiwagi, Ishihara, Endo, Inoha, Kondo, Okubo, Fujimoto, Junya Tanaka, and a uh, team picture as well. And then we look at the ladies who are on the way to the Olympics. When Sawa was injured, what did they do? Well, they brought in Aya Miyama. There she is. Uh, some lovely pictures of the uh, Nadeshiko Japan and Sawa's team in Kobe. Nadeshiko there, the Nadeshiko League, that's Ainak Kobe Leonesta. Then we had uh, a little photo opportunity arranged by myself and the British Embassy for uh, Yamaguchi Ogihara and Kiyotake with the British Minister there and uh, the president of Cerezo. Uh, we had a quick photo opportunity at Nagai Stadium. And the history of the badge, the Japan badge, there you go. Uh, it's going to be looked at even more in issue 5 by Daniel Jones in Ontario there. The badge and the shirts. Japanese legend, a J-League legend, Kunishige Kamamoto, recently had his record broken by Shinji Kagawa. What record is that? I'll tell you. The youngest player ever to score 10 goals for Japan is now Shinji Kagawa, but for a very long time it was Kamamoto Kunishige. 
ex Cerezo Osaka, what used to be Yanma. Well, you know, Cerezo, they are just, they're just a, just a nursery of young players, aren't they? And talking of young players, high school reunion. We look at the influence of high schools and universities in Japan. That is, yes, that is Honda Keisuke there, playing for Serio High School. Uh, in Japan, the high school and university system is very advanced, and a lot of players choose to stay at high school and university, even if they've been approached by Japanese football teams, and then sign on from high school. And the high school tournaments, they sell out. So high school tournaments are on TV, and they sell out every game, and all the players, it's, it's incredible. The high school football in Japan, you should check it out. This is Nagatomo, by the way, also playing for his high school there. Looking very young, but he still looks young, don't you, Nagatomo? Quick look at the mascots of J1 from Tiago Bontempo uh, in Brazil there. And uh, in the next issue, we'll have J2. Vissel Kobe have tied up, if you'll excuse the joke, with a Thai team in Chomburi FC. And uh, things could be looking good. And also a quick look at their new coach, Akira Nishino and what he might do for Vissel Kobe. And then I have your roundup into the net. Roundup of all your blogs in English and Portuguese and French and German, anything. If you have a blog on Japanese football in a language other than Japanese, please send it to me at alan at jsoccer.com, A-L-A-N at jsoccer.com, and I'll get it in J Soccer Magazine, issue 5, into the net. Or if you have a picture of yourself at a game in Japan, or in a Japanese shirt, or with a Japanese player there. Hello, Lou. Um, send us the pictures, Alan at jsoccer.com, and we'll stick it in the family affairs section. Your picture can be in J Soccer Magazine issue 5. So, get yourself your magazine, please. And I'll tell you what, today's special offer. Mention, mention, what can we say we can mention? Mention, unscripted and unshaven. And you can buy yourself J Soccer Magazine issue 4 and get yourself issue 1, 2, and 3 on PDF absolutely free of charge. J Soccer Magazine issue 4 is available from me, A L A N at jsoccer.com, alan at jsoccer.com, or go to the website directly and click on the magazine links, www.jsoccer.com. Get yourself your magazine. Issue 1 is yours, issue 2 is yours, issue 3 is yours for not a single penny, yen, or dollar sent. Buy issue 4 and I'll send you issue 1, 2 and 3 PDFs free of charge. And issue 4 of course you can choose to buy a PDF, no postage, or a magazine on paper, beautiful heavy glossy paper. Smells nice too. Just drop me a line. Alan at jsoccer.com. Japanese football in English and Japanese. Jsoccer magazine. Thank you for listening or watching.